Dietrich. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's y'all first time checking out my channel. Make sure y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button so other people can, you know, see my videos. As y'all can see from the title, man, I just want to bring y'all into my little garden. You know what I'm saying? I live in Charlotte right now, and I do have an apartment, and I utilize, you know what I'm saying, my balcony as a garden. Now, I grew up in a rural area in North Carolina, and I always seen like my grandparents and stuff like that growing veggies. So I always had like an interest in growing vegetables and stuff like that, growing my own food. And just with how everything going on, the rising prices of food, and you know what I'm saying, being that I'm trying to eat a cleaner diet, you know what I'm saying, things are expensive. So I just wanted to try my hand and growing, you know, growing some food. So pretty much right now I'm just starting with a little basic things. Uh, I got some peppers. I got some zucchini, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I plan on starting some onions, uh, maybe some carrots, maybe some jalapeno peppers soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I plan on adding that to the garden as well. Just the things that, just the things that I eat the most frequently, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and you know, let y'all see what I got going on. So the first one I got these purple bell peppers. I've been growing them for about a month and a half. So, I put them in a bigger pot from um, the cup that they gave me at Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never ate a purple bell pepper before, but that's what made me interested in growing it. So, yeah, so we got the bell peppers, purple bell pepper. The next one, the label say, the label say yellow bell pepper. That's what they gave me at the store, but for some reason, they ain't turned yellow yet. But it's pretty big. This was the last one I potted. This was the last one I potted. It's got the biggest pepper. So yeah, that's the so-called yellow pepper. This one supposed to be a green pepper. This one kind of turning yellow. So I don't know. Maybe I switched the tag around. Maybe I'm tripping. So yeah, so this is my setup, man. So this one right here is in a self-watering pot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes I do got to make sure I drain the water out. And right here... This is a smaller one. Maybe they got something to do with why it's growing so fast, all the nutrients can pack. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Y'all tell me, you know what I'm saying? Give me some feedback. So I got this in this self-watering pot, and this was a canvas bag that I got off Amazon. I got some zucchini over here. These are green zucchini. So these were in a different pot before. These were in a different pot before. Um, and I think it might have stunted their growth on them. Uh, but I repotted them. And they're doing good. They're doing good. Um, I ain't really been having a pest problem. So, I'm saying they're doing all right. Um, I've been growing these for about a month, maybe. So before we go, I just wanted to give y'all some tips just in case y'all wanted to start y'all own garden, you know what I'm saying, y'all own small garden. Give y'all some tips that's helped me out along the way. So the first tip would be make sure that your plant can get good sunlight, okay? Make sure you can get good sunlight. A lot of the plants that I see when I get them out of the store, they require uh, about six hours of full sunlight. So... Yeah, just make sure you check throughout the day. And you can kind of see where the sun rays is, let like you know where your sunlight is, all right? My second tip is to chlorinate your water before watering your plants, all right? You can use your tap water, but it's gonna have chlorine in it. So you're gonna have to let that that chlorine, you're gonna have to let that chlorine deplete before you put it in your plants, all right? So what I like to do is I got a five gallon bucket, all right? Got a five gallon bucket, and I just put water in. I fill it up with water and I let it sit outside for about a day. And I let, you know, I let the water, I let the chlorine deplete out of it. So, so yeah, that's my second tip. Make sure y'all get that chlorine out. The third tip is to make sure you got proper drainage, all right? So, you see, I got the self-water, I got the self-watering buckets. And um, they self-water, so it kind of retains the water so that the plant can continue to get water. But sometimes you need good drainage so all the waste from the plant can, you know, leave out the pot, all right? So make sure you have good drainage because you don't want any diseases or fungus or anything like that to set in. The fourth tip, as your plants start to get a certain size, you might have to switch that pot out. So that's just something to keep in mind too. You know, you don't want to stunt your growth like I did with zucchini. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. 
stay tuned for the next one.